Nog jongens. Sigis. Ah, die banden die worden nog nieuw. Doeg schat. Gloemi. Zota. Oké. Okay. Zo, so, dit is me. Driving in my uh, 4x4 again on uh, Madagascar. As you can see, we, uh, we've returned to Madagascar. We actually um, landed on um, Ifatu Airport, Port uh, Antananarivo. That was on Saturday and um, we had to do a uh, PCR test, which is not a big deal here on Madagascar because they will not, um, well, um, um, uh, bring it how do you say that uh, put it through so many cycles until they find something they they just uh, put it through the, the normal cycles and uh, we were all tested negative people here think it's uh, rather funny when I say that I'm negative because uh, they know me as a as a rather positive guy anyway so we've um, returned and I'm driving my car to the garage now because uh, Apparently I found some... Oh, there is this truck co coming towards me. Which is interesting because this is like a, a road where nobody can pass. So I need to make a little bit of space for the truck. Oh. Ah! I said, uh, he's uh, telling me that, uh, that I, uh, I can pass him. Well, that's the, the, the funny part about uh, driving in, uh, in uh, a big city like Antananarivo. I'm driving a uh, big 4x4 Nissan Patrol. I'm not even sure I can drive through this, but oh yeah, oh yeah. I still have some centimeters, yeah. So yeah, the roads are pretty narrow here. Uh, after five minutes, I probably drive somewhere on the on the, the bigger roads, and I will come across some uh, some uh, traffic jams. Well, you can hear my car. This is like a, your proper tractor. <laughs> it's nothing like um, what we are used to in um, in the Netherlands. Everything is shaking, everything is rattling, and uh, I've got a big high lift jack on the roof, and uh, that's the thing you can hear if you if you hear the sound like -ta 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 -ta, that's the the high lift jack. Anyway, um, yeah, what I was uh, telling you, I'm driving the car to uh, to the garage. Um, I just collected it yesterday, and uh, when I came back to the hotel, I uh, tried the, the ventilator on the the dashboard and um, it, it, run, it did run fine, but then it, it, it almost sounded like something ran into my ventilator, which is not really um, uncommon here in Madagascar, because uh, especially when your car didn't, um, when you didn't use your car for a long time, sometimes rats are crawling into your dashboard or little mice, and uh, when you turn on the, the ventilator, they, uh, they will be startled and they they actually kind of um, commit suicide <laughs> by running into the ventilator. This car is like mechanical all over. So when, when I get stuck somewhere, I can repair this car myself. Because it, it's just mechanics. The newer 4x4s, the Nissan Patrols, but also the Land Cruisers and, and cars like that, they, they have a lot of computer um, or software, I don't know how you call that, software inside. Um, which is beautiful, especially when you're driving off-road, because th these systems, they, they are able to, to control your braking and, and stuff like that. But, as soon as something like that breaks, it's uh, a pain to find a garage where they can fix it. Um, I know of some garages here in um, Antananarivo, where they, um, they have the, um, uh, the computers to... Uh, to um, yeah, to diagnose your your board um, computer, onboard computer, and I know another garage which is about 
12 hours drive from the capital but I don't know of any other garages who can do that so when we started to look for a car in 2016 that was um, I have been advised by a lot of missionaries to not to find a, a brand new car but an older car like this one this is a 90, 1991 Nissan Patrol uh, 4.2 and what I said, it's all mechanical. So uh, when we're going home, uh, uh, the last 20 kilometers, 18 kilometers, um, I have to uh, drive over a dirt road, which is not even worthy the name road because it's um, it's uh, it's such a bad road, and it takes me about uh, 95 minutes to uh, to travel that 18 kilometers. Um, especially when it has been raining it's uh, it's horrible and quite often I, I broke something uh, mostly uh, stabilizers which is not a big deal because I mean you don't need stabilizers uh, when you're driving only only um, when you're crawling but um, last time actually the, the radiator just dropped to the floor it was just like everything broke off and it, <laughs> so I had to uh, attach the, the radiator with, um, I don't know how you call it, but I, I think you, you could say, tie, in, in Holland we say tie rips, but it's, uh, yeah, so I had to tie it up, I had to fix it with uh, epoxy glue and it was quite an adventure. But because it's all mechanical and the computer on board is not complaining about anything because there is no computer, at least not a significant one. It, it, it didn't um, matter too much so anyway now I ended up in the traffic jam uh, big trucks coming by it's always a bit noisy here so I'm back again and uh, well I just um, waved to all the police officers that's something they are not used to here because uh, overall the Malagasy are very much afraid of the, of the, the police uh, the gendarmeria it's uh, actually a, a German word a uh, German uh, a French word gendarmerie but they uh, just uh, Malaga um, yeah, how do you say that Malaga is it and they call it uh, gendarmeria with a, a, a Z a Z and that's um, funny so I I normally always wave and um, uh, greet them and because it's still early January I, uh, I wish them a very good new year anyway what I uh, said in the first part we uh, we arrived back in uh, Madagascar it was quite a trip it wasn't uh, really long to be honest we flew with KLM to uh, from Amsterdam to Johannesburg South Africa which was a flight of about 10 hours uh, a little bit more and then we slept on the airport on uh, Johannesburg and uh, we flew with um, the World Food Program uh, towards uh, Madagascar uh, on a very small plane, but it, it was good. And it, uh, it is a humanitarian flight and because we are missionaries and we work for an organization, we were entitled to fly with them. That was actually the only good way for us as a family to come back to Madagascar because normal flights are not uh, really happening yet because of all the, the lockdowns and Madagascar just closed his borders for, for all foreigners. I did look at my Odyssey uh, channel and I was so surprised. I was totally blown away because I, I think hardly a, a month ago I celebrated my 500 uh, followers on Odyssey and um, yesterday evening I opened Odyssey again because I unpacked all my, um, uh, my, my electronics and I, it really blew me away 1500 plus followers I mean that's like an increase of 1000 followers in just one month so you guys need to stop it right now because I'll, I'll, I, I will be very like big you know it's like look at me me and my followers now no no just kidding but I think it's really really cool to have so many people who are interested in um, in videos about um, apologetics and uh, stuff like that it's uh, yeah it's cool thank you for, for following me and uh, I won't stop you just keep on inviting people and it's not so much about me it's about the Lord Jesus because that's the one who I really want to oh I've got this 
little scooter driving in front of me who is not she's, she doesn't know how to drive straight and that's a bit 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 of a pickle because my car is way too big I will not even feel it when I drive over this lady anyway so uh, yeah it's um we we are working here for for the Lord Jesus Christ and we take some rest and then we travel on home with our uh, roof rack full of groceries also some suitcases we will leave some suitcases behind in the capital uh, because if I only um, put all the suitcases on the roof it's already more than 400 kilos which is a little bit too much I did it before but it's not really safe uh, 400 kilos on top of your roof so we will leave some uh, stuff behind and I will collect that I think uh, probably next month and then we go back to, to our house and stay there for about four months and then we run out of vegetables and groceries and we will normally take a break most of the time we return to the capital meet our friends again meet some West um, people from Europe America Canada South Africans and stay for about two weeks before we return again so that's that's basically our cycle so anyway um, I'm almost there the garage wasn't that far away from uh, from our home I think it's only five kilometers thank you again for for following me I will try I, I mean I recorded this video with my phone so the quality is not that great I will uh, try to uh, to make a new video soon I'm not sure when that will happen but it will happen because I love to do that and it, as always if you have a nice topic to tackle uh, just leave it behind in the comments and uh, we'll see whether we can make a nice video of it so don't forget to hit the, the sub button you can subscribe to me on uh, YouTube but even better go to Odyssey and create your, your own account and uh, enjoy the, the, the censorship free uh, videos on Odyssey and uh, yeah yeah go on like this video and leave a comment and we'll meet again thank you